All right, we're going to look at lesson five, problem set. Today we're going to compare multi-digit numerals. And we want to compare them by deciding if it is less than, greater than, or equal to. Our first multi-digit numeral is 600,015. And we want to know if it's less than, greater than, or equal to 60,015. We're going to use our place value chart to decide that. Let's look at the larger digit number, 600,015. We're going to need to label our place value chart. Here's ones, tens, hundreds. Going to have to try to fit that in there. Thousands. And we have ten thousands. I'm going to abbreviate that with TH. We have hundred thousands. Abbreviate that and TH for hundred thousands. And we have, we're going to say millions. All right, let's go ahead and move that across. Uh, what we have is five one, so we can put that there. We have one ten. We have zero hundreds. We have zero thousands. We have zero ten thousands. And we have six hundred thousands. All right. Our other multi digit number is sixty thousand fifteen. And we're going to place each value according to it on the place value chart. So we have five ones. We have one ten. We have zero hundreds. We have zero thousands and we have six ten thousands and we have zero hundred thousands. What I like to do is look at the values. I like to start with the larger value, which is a hundred thousand. In six hundred thousand fifteen, I notice that I have six hundred thousands. While sixty thousand fifteen, I have no zero hundred thousands. So this lets me know that this number is larger based on the higher place value and it is 600 thousands and the other number has zero so this number is larger so to show that on the comparing we say 600 thousand fifteen is greater than sixty thousand fifteen our second problem we have 409,004 is less than, greater than, or equal to 400,002. Like we did with the first problem, we need to use our place value chart to decide if it's less than, greater than, or equal to. So let's go ahead and label our place value chart again. It's just good practice to continue to label our place value chart. We have tens, hundreds, we have thousands, we have ten thousands, I abbreviate this again, TH, we have hundred thousands, abbreviate TH again, hun thousand, and we have millions. All right, I'm going to start with my left side again. This time I'm going to start with 409,004. So as you can see, I have four ones, so I can place that here. I have zero tens, zero hundreds. I have nine thousands, zero ten thousands, and four hundred thousands. Next, I am going to place 440,002 on my place value chart, starting with the ones again. I have two ones, zero tens, zero hundreds, zero thousands. I have four ten thousands and four hundred thousands. Now, let's look at our place values. Starting with my higher value, I have four hundred thousands for my top number and four hundred thousands for my bottom number. 
So far, the numbers are equal. Next, I look at my 10,000s. I have zero 10,000s for my top number and four 10,000s for my lower number. As you can see, this value is more than zero. So, this helps me to decide which number is larger. It's the bottom number, which is 440,002. So, I read it this way. 409,004 is less than 440,002. 440, Sorry about that. So, I read it again correctly. This is 409,004 is less than 440,002. Thank you. All right, let's look at 2B. We have this number written in expanded form and this number written in word form. So the first thing we need to do is write this number in standard form. We have 500,000, 80,000, and 9,000. This set is in thousands, so I need to write this number in thousands. So I have 589,100. Write this a little better. We have 589,100 is less than, greater than, or equal to 500. We have 8,901. All right. So, as we did earlier, we can look at the place values based on the higher value. We have 500,000, 500,000. Here we have 8,000, and here we have 0, 10,000. So, therefore, this number is higher based on the place value. This has 8, 10,000, while this number has 0, 10,000. So, this number is greater. So what we need to write is 589,100 is greater than 508,901. Now let's look at problem 2C. We have the numbers written in standard and word form and the other number is written in standard form. Here we need to write the number out. We have 900,000 eight thousands, nine hundreds, three tens. So let's write that number in standard form. We have nine hundred, eight thousand. So we need to write nine hundred, eight thousand, nine hundred, three tens, which is thirty. And this number is nine hundred, eight thousand, nine hundred, thirty. So as you can see, these numbers are the same. So 908,930 is equal to 908,930. Now let's look at the last problem, 2D. We have 900s, 5 ten thousands, 9 ones is less than, greater than, or equal to 6 ten thousands, 5 hundreds, and nine ones. As you can see, this number is written nine hundreds, and we have ten thousands, and we have ones, so it's out of order. So this needs to be ones, we have hundreds, and we have ten thousands. So it needs to be read that way. So what we have is five ten thousands, which is fifty. We have nine hundreds, so we say fifty or Five ten thousands or fifty thousand nine hundred, and we have nine ones. Over here we have six ten thousands, so we write sixty thousand five hundred nine. So if we look at these two numbers, we have fifty thousand nine hundred nine is less than, greater than, or equal to 60,500.
9. Like we did previously, we need to, need to look at the place values of each number and see which one is higher. So here we have 5 ten thousands. This number we have 6 ten thousands. So this number is greater. So we are right 50,909 is less than 60,509. Okay, as you can see, we have comparing numbers. We're going to flip it up. And we're just going to concentrate on the scribble scratch. Uh, this is going to scribble scratch, shoot that up, and shoot the A and the E, shoot all the vowels. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. See you later.